guys, what's up? So I have a video today that's kind of like advice and this all has to do with EDC Las Vegas. EDC, if you don't know, Electric Daisy Carnival. It's this huge electronic dance music festival. Oh my God, EDM. 12 hours during the night in 40 degree weather. They have a lot of different EDCs all around the world. New York, they have Orlando, they have Puerto Rico, and I think they're having one in Japan now. If you do have the opportunity and you do love EDM, I'd say it's definitely worth the experience. If you want to see a separate video on how I almost died at EDC, leave a comment down below, and even if you don't leave it, I'll probably make it anyway, because I think it's just the funniest, like, most notable experience I've ever had. These are tips for you if you're thinking about going to EDC and you don't know the benefits and the costs and all that stuff. Or if you've already bought your ticket and you are en route to EDC, these are some tips for you. This is like a bullshit free life survival guide at EDC. People are always like, you don't have to like train it as like a survival. It's not like camp. It's not like death. Bitch, please. I almost died. I know what I got myself into. Actually, I had no idea what I got myself into. So this is why I am making this video. I remember coming up with these tips when I was on the airplane coming back from EDC and I was like, fuck, people have no idea. So I need to make this. And if it's your first time, then I suggest you watching as well. Okay, so my camera totally just died, but I revived it. And let me start by saying, if you're thinking about buying a ticket for EDC Vegas, you need to really consider a lot of stuff first. Are you ready for the Vegas heat? If you come from a place that's colder, oh my god, you are gonna fucking die. I come from Canada, which is not extremely like boiling hot, but it's not cold either. Like it's pretty fucking hot here still, it's humid. But when I went to Vegas, man, I was in for a surprise. It was 54 degrees Celsius. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit. I'll try to figure it out and put it right here. But holy fuck, it was a heat wave and I was sweating balls. To the window, to the wall, the sweat dropped down my balls. Literally every second I was outside, I was like, we need to go back inside. Like, I can't do this. So we would walk down the strip and I would literally have to duck in like, every single building, every single casino that they had on the strip, I was in because it was so fucking hot. During the night, it was a little better, but still it was like hot as fuck. I had my hair down for like two seconds and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so cute. Like, look at me in my ADC outfit, in my rave bra, blah, blah, blah. And then 10 seconds later, I was like, oh, fuck this shit. You need to make sure that you can deal with the heat, especially if you're going to like pool parties during the day you really need to make sure that your body can handle it. Someone that we went with, her fiance got like heat exhaustion from being out in the sun too much and being too hot and his body just overheated and he completely just like collapsed after day one and he never recovered. He wasted his day two and day three tickets. Cause Vegas is the fucking desert. If you book your EDC ticket, you gotta book your like hotel and flight too, not like right away. You know what? You can find a good deal. Plane tickets are cheap on Tuesdays. Hotels. Unless you're fucking rich, dude, you're there for EDC. Not to like spend in a hotel, not to like gamble and all this stuff. Well, you still can. You don't need to book out like the Bellagio. You can just go to like Tropicana, MGM. They're not super cheap. They're cheaper than like the high class ones. You can even book off the strip. You're gonna need to drive to EDC. It's nowhere close to the strip. It takes like an hour just to get in with your car. So, <sighs> If you're a guy, be prepared to spend money because it ain't cheap partying in Vegas for a guy. Now that this whole like ticket and decision process is up, let's just say you have your EDC ticket. Let's go. Advice. Number one, if you're a girl, prepare your costume. Don't worry ever about looking slutty. Like don't be like, oh my god, like I feel so self-conscious, like my butt cheeks are showing. Usually like I'm really conservative on like showing butt cheeks and like too much cleavage or whatever. But literally, if you try to wear clothes in Vegas, you are going to melt. You and your clothes will like bond together because it is so hot. The reason why people wear rafe bras, not just to look good, it's because it can save your life from heat stroke. People don't judge you at EDC. You can have your tits out, post an emoji sticker on each of your nipples and your vagina and people will be like, Whoa! 
prepare your costume and get ready to dance. And I would suggest wearing something that's breathable, like don't wear really tight clothing. I've seen people wear corsets and I honestly, I look at them and I'm like, how do you breathe? Cause I'm wearing a bra and I'm like jumping up and down. <sighs> EDC is like the biggest cardio workout you have in your life. That's why whenever you go during that week, you can eat literally whatever you want. You can eat pizza, ice cream, burgers, the American way every single meal every single day and you will still lose weight if you go to EDC because you jump so much that your calorie burn is just like out of control it's just like out of here the back entrance as soon as you go in it faces cosmic meadows that's what it's called that field is cosmic meadows it's the field that has grass when I almost died at EDC that grass pretty much like saved my life I owe my life to that grass at night like all the cold air goes down to the ground it gets trapped in that grass so if you're too hot or literally if you feel like you're getting an anxiety attack because I know like having an anxiety attack at EDC is literally the worst thing in your life I know I just laid down on the grass and closed my eyes and I instantly felt a lot better I was just laying there and like my body didn't feel overheated anymore. Use that grass to your advantage if you feel too hot. Another tip for you is have a meeting spot with your friends. If you're going with a big group, I didn't go with a big group and we just stayed together, so it was fine. But if you go in a big group, oh my god, if you lose someone, you ain't gonna find them until the next morning. Can anyone please tell me what cell phone reception they use to add to the EDC snap story. I was sending all this shit on my phone, tap, 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 and none of it was sending just because I had a shitty service provider. Do you know how many people are fucking there? Like, not fucking there, like. You ain't gonna get no service. You have a better chance of finding a lost cell phone than sending a message through your phone to your friends. Another good thing is if you guys bring like a totem or like a big flag, I freaking love seeing people's like totems and shit. Like that's just fucking awesome to me. Also, they can be used to spot your friends. So just look for your friends' totems if you get lost. One thing is you can't bring a lot of stuff in. Sometimes they check you really thoroughly. I remember on the first night like they were checking me, like shaking up my bra and all this stuff. If you get caught, you're fucked. Try not to sneak shit in if you can. Sometimes they don't check you thoroughly at all. Like. I remember, they don't even check your shoes, so if you want to sneak your shit in, use your shoes. You're not allowed to bring, like, water bottles in. You gotta get the Insomniac water bottle, and you gotta fill up at their free water stations. People are thirsty! Like, <laughs> those lines go on forever. You can't bring your own water bottle in. Someone told me that you could. I brought this brand new water bottle that I bought from the fucking M&M store that day, and it got fucking confiscated. So thanks, bitch. You can't bring eye drops in. This girl in front of me, she tried to bring eye drops in because she was wearing contacts and she was like, yo, like, I'm in the fucking desert. My eyes gonna be drier than the Sahara by the time this finishes. How am I gonna survive? And the person was literally like, that's not my problem. Can't bring any liquids in. No sanitizer. I tried to bring my sanitizer. That got confiscated as well. The next tip has to do with water, obviously. A good choice is to buy the Insomniac water bottle and fill up at the free water stations. As I said, those lines are long. The best place to fill up your water bottle, if you find circuit grounds and you come out from the side of circuit grounds towards base pod, I think, there's a water station there and that place was empty. I filled up my water bottle without waiting behind anyone in line and that was just... There's also people like wheeling around coolers and they're selling you shit. I bought Gatorade, which was so refreshing. It was like the best Gatorade I've ever spent money on. The most refreshing drink, and it gave me like electrolytes so I can keep like raving. Next tip is a lot of people say like bring earbuds and all this stuff. So I packed earbuds to go, but I didn't use them. Dude, I don't know who needs earbuds. Maybe if you're like 65 and you're going, but the music is loud, but it's not like gonna make you deaf loud. I was pretty close to the front and I was completely okay. I could definitely still hear the person beside me talking. If you have like sensitive ears I guess just bring them. The next tip has to do with shoes. I bought these like platform shoes to wear. They're not like high heels. They're just like platform thick platform in case people step on me so I can like kill a bitch. So that was a mistake. My feet totally overheated in it. I got like cuts on the back of my heel from jumping so much and I could barely shuffle. So the next day I went to Marshall's beside my hotel and I bought cheap Converse and Converse were like amazing shoes to rave in and any shoe that can like fully bend is perfect. Cheap flat shoes and I don't think you're gonna wear them again. You only wear them for raves then it works. Another tip is to bring cheap shit 
in. Don't bring nothing expensive. Yeah, don't bring expensive shit because you're going to lose them. I had these like cute little pineapple sunglasses. They're on my Instagram. I put them in my back pocket for 10 seconds to like dance and then after they were gone. But it's okay. They were only like two bucks. Whoever has my new pineapple sunglasses now, enjoy. The next tip has to do with the bag you're bringing in. The first day I brought like this backpack in and it wasn't like huge. It was like a small backpack. You're only allowed to bring small backpacks. So don't try to bring like a huge ass like Jansport bag. Shit's not gonna happen. Sorry, I'm sitting like a man right now. You can't even see, but you can probably kind of guess by my position that I'm in. For a girl, the best choice for you to bring is a fanny pack. And fanny packs are like the most perfect thing because no one can steal your shit it's right in front of you. No like giant earthquake from the thudding of the backpack on your back. And I noticed that a lot of people use camelbacks, which is like a backpack with like a hydration thing for your mouth. So you can like drink, dance, drink, dance, drink, dance. They're like this big and it carries like a liter of water or something. So if you guys plan on staying the entire 12 hours, don't think your phone is gonna last. You're gonna be wanting to take videos, Snapchats, pictures of everything. So by the time you do that, your battery will be like beep beep. Currently less than 10%. You need to bring like a mobile charger or something. I have this really thin one that's literally like this. It's like as big as a credit card. I got it from Urban Outfitters. That one is like ideal. You can charge your phone and I'd say honestly like one charge is good enough. Secret deodorant creates like this little booth and they have wall chargers that you can plug in your phone you can plug in like your actual wall plug and your cord to charge your phone there and like have a little rest break take a deodorant put some deodorant on you don't want to be killing anybody nobody wants to be for the sake of everything holy put on deodorant my best advice for you when you go to edc is you come one day before and you leave one day after the rush usually comes like the day of edc in the morning they come in right before edc starts and that's just hell you need time to rest that first day you can come in you can explore vegas and i suggest if you're going back to work don't go back to work right away book a few extra days off take a breather rest I didn't do that because I'm like, whatever, like I can handle this. And I was literally sick for a week after EDC. Last tip, I've already stated this like so many times, but you know the motto of EDC is to stay hydrated. Keep water on you at all times. The first night of EDC, I walked in and I saw someone getting wheeled out by a stretcher. And I'm already like, already, like it's the first night. It's like an hour in. Is this, is this real life? Stay the fuck hydrated. All right, so that is it for my bullshit free guide on if you're thinking about going to EDC Vegas or how to prepare for EDC. I hope this helped you. If you have any extra tips, just add down below. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram at AZ Premium and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.